Hi everyone, hope everyone's well. Um, welcome to the latest game that I have been developing, a game called Would Be Aces. Now, this is a World War II solitaire game where you are in command of a flight of P-47 Thunderbolts. And what I've got here is a mock-up. This is a prototype that I've been developing. Um, I'm just going to talk you through it very briefly. Um, I will do a series of videos specifying the all the game mechanics, so how combat works, movement, etc, etc, etc. This is a print and play game. So I've printed out, uh, we call the uh, plane sheets here, one, two, three, four. They represent four different planes that we've got also here on the actual board itself. So plane one is this plane here, plane two, that one there, plane three, and so forth. Um, the actual um, counters themselves, I've done all the artwork for the planes and uh, the map. They're actually glued onto MDF um, war, miniature wargaming bases, but you can glue them onto card. During the game, you will be um, commanding these different planes, moving across the board. As you move across the board, you roll through a series of charts and tables. I've got a printout here of all the prototypes of those. Um, and you will be encountering enemy planes enemy uh, ground forces and resolving combat you have your final objective on the far right there and that will be things like um, ground to air attacks on um, ground targets such as enemy convoys um, train tra uh, train uh, tracks bridges and um, the p-47 thunderbolt aircraft excelled in uh, air to ground attacks during the uh, latter part of World War II. Um, and this game is a solitaire, sort of thematic narrative experience of that. Um, the planes themselves could withstand huge amounts of damage. They were incredibly uh, resilient physically. Um, and to represent that, the actual planes themselves can be damaged in multiple different ways. Um, so, for example, we've got the cockpit, fuselage, engines, wings and tails, so forth. And they can soak up a huge amount of damage, which is good because in this game you are going to be damaged and receiving damage quite significantly, both to the plane itself physically, which is represented here with these different damage values on all the different planes, but also to the psyche, the confidence of the pilot. And the game has a, a mechanic around the confidence of the pilots themselves. That confidence level, which is represented here on each plane sheet, each of the four pilots, and you can name your pilots here on the sheets as a section to do so. Each of those four pilots have their own confidence rating. That confidence can go can go up and it can go down during as you fly your planes across the board. So, for example, as you move from zone to zone, you'll be rolling through tables and charts to see if there are any enemy present any mishaps, any near collisions, um, how the weather can affect that, and that can have an impact on the confidence of those pilots. Um, confidence can can be reduced. Um, these planes, actually, I've read first-hand accounts of um, the planes would occasionally bump each other. It's not unusual for wingtips to hit wing, wingtips, for example. Um, but confidence can be reduced maybe as a result of takeoff or forming up in the sortie or uh, moving across the board as you encounter hazards, um, as you encounter enemy aircraft. Certainly being bounced by an enemy aircraft can have an impact on the confidence of the pilot. As the plane takes damage, it'll impact their confidence. The pilot's not sure if, they're, if their um, planes are going to get them to the objective or certainly get them back to their base back home. Um, so confidence can be impacted by that. Conversely, confidence can also be increased as pilots encounter enemy planes and um, are able to shoot down enemy um, planes, that confidence level can go up. So each each confidence rating here, for example, plane two, this pilot here, which is this plane here, confidence can be uh, can be six, any number here. Um, so it's quite interesting mechanic from that point of view. Also, and this is a really important mechanic that the game has, as the as the player. You can somewhat um, use that confidence rating to boost and spend confidence to boost the likelihood in combat. 
So for example, depending on the confidence of the pilots, um, you will be placing into a cup. Here we go. Uh, so the, the counters for resolving um, combat. So for example, you'll be placing player miss and hit counters into the cup. And you can use, you can spend a confidence point. So it goes actually goes down, but you can replace a player miss with a player hit. Place those all into your cup. Like do so, like so. Place the enemy ones like so. And you can increase the likelihood of co combat success. And if success, the confidence can go back up. But equally, if that didn't work out, you took that risk. So the game, uh, if they took that risk, sorry, then that confidence would, would actually decrease. So the game has a, at fundamental mechanics level, a real push your luck mechanic associated with it. As the commander, um, as the player of these four different planes, you will be pushing the luck of the confidence of each of these pilots as you play through the game. And you'll be spending those confidence points like that. So the game has a, because it's a solitaire game, I'm a big fan of uh, blind uh, counter or blind chip, whatever you want to call it, mechanics. And this game has that in spades, especially for, for combat. In terms of the actual tables themselves, I've got some examples here. These are early prototypes. There aren't too many tables for the game, but there certainly are a few. You'll be rolling on tables to see what can happen in each zone as you progress across the map. So as you move from zone to zone, you'll be rolling on a few tables just to see what enemy you encounter, what hazards, what um, special events can happen, and they will help to form that narrative that rich narrative of play as you're imagining the success or failures of your pilots and the planes themselves as they move across the board to the final destination. The actual final destination where you'll be attacking those um, very juicy ground targets. That could be a Tiger tank, German Tiger tank, or a, a enemy um, train, for example, or bridge or whatever. You'll be encountering quite fierce flak fire fierce resistance from the enemy. And some of the decisions you've made along the progress here can have an impact on the end results there. So I just wanted to give you a brief overview. Um, I will do a series of videos, and this is very, sort of, uh, I've just done a very high level overview. I will do a series of videos that details every single part of this game, um, exactly how the plane sheets work and the confidence works, exactly how combat works, how the takeoff process works, how the objective system works, and landing the planes back safely at home, etc. And I'll do separate videos for all those mechanics as, as I would normally do so. In terms of where the game is at right now, the game is launching on Kickstarter. And um, as I record this video today, my aim is to launch the Kickstarter this coming week. Um, and I will put a video on my channel uh, when it is when it has actually launched, along with a, a link to the Kickstarter itself. Um, but it should be it's all it's I've got the page up and running. It's looking great. I'm really happy with it. I've just got to a couple more less last minute jobs to do to it before it actually launches. Um, and the intention is that, as you can see here, the art is all done for the planes. It's done for the map. I've got layouts done for all the player aids. I've done all the charts. The rule book is written. So the plan is that it will actually be launched once the providing the Kickstarter is successful, and I very much hope it is so. Um, the actual game will be launched in and available for everyone in December for those Kickstarter backers. Um, so hopefully that gives you a sort of a broad overview. It is a solitaire game. Uh, you are playing against the game. You can play um, co-op with, because there's four planes, four sheets, four pilots, in theory you um, you can, and uh, there is a section in the rulebook for this, if you want to play co-op with another player, or up to, up to four players can play cooperatively um, against the against the enemy and, and play so. Um, but yeah, thanks a lot for, for watching, and thanks again for the tremendous support I get from, from other people in the wargaming community, other YouTube content creators, other publishers it means a huge amount to me in this hobby um, so thanks always for the con continued support for my games and work 
and for the uh, YouTube channel as well. I hope you check out the game on Kickstarter to see if it's the sort of games that you enjoy playing. I very much enjoy developing this game. I've done a huge amount of research into the P-47 aircraft. It is one of my favourite uh, planes of World War II and I have huge respect for both the plane um, itself and the pilots and the ground crew who operated those planes um, in the war. Um, if you do have any questions about the game, um, please put something add put questions in the comments section. Like I said, I will be um, once the Kickstarter goes live, there will be a whole set of videos that details every single mechanic and play through each of those so you can get a good understanding of actually how the game mechanics work as well. So thanks again, as always.